legally, you now have the ability to produce and create projects with a client that they might also perform in. So as a host agent, do you actually spend time developing your own ideas for clients? And if yes, why? If no, why? Absolutely. I mean, that's the trend in hosting was seven, ten years ago, it was you have these amazing hosts. I mean, what it, what it was is that the scripted world dominated television at that time. Um, producers, production companies, networks saw that it was less expensive to produce hosted shows, generally speaking. You're not paying big money to big actors. You're paying hopefully big money to one host on a show. Um, so, so basically what, I forgot where I was going with that. Well, just how, I'm curious the distinction, Tim, between how much you spend time working with oh. someone that's a project that might attach a client versus you actually trying to create a project for them. Right, so the trend went that these shows would be ready and you'd have a host and you put a host on it. Now, the way it's looking right now is that hosts are also those, those experts or those interesting types of people. Right. So what you have to do is you have to then develop content around your host talent who are interesting people as well. So now you're taking not just your great presenter, you're going, hey, do you also have an interesting background? You know, what is your life outside of what you're hosting right now? So yes, developing content is incredibly important right now. You have to take those people that you think have interesting backgrounds and lives and then develop shows around them. Are they always my ideas? No. A lot of times my clients will come to me and say, I have this amazing idea for a show. Um, will you help me put it together, create the show, and go out and sell it? Absolutely. That's, that's, that's crucial and paramount with what I do right now.